what's up y'all i said what's up y'all look at me when i'm talking to you bro nah i'm just messing with y'all man this your boy knockout boxing 86 tv and we in here so check this out before we get going on our video smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here share the video turn on your notifications and don't forget that i'm live monday wednesday and thursday night at 7 30 p.m central time you can also catch me live every sunday morning with the singing og kqkc boxing network at 9 a.m central standard time and please join the channel so you can help the channel grow become a member so that way i can give you guys more time dropping this content for you but let's get straight to it man let's get straight to our video let's have an honest conversation let's have an honest conversation about this Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson and Bill Haney situation. And we adding Bill in there because Bill Haney talks for Devin. He talks on behalf of Devin Haney promotion. He promotes Devin and he is his mouthpiece. So let's talk about this shit. Couple of things, couple of housekeeping items, right? I'm very clear. I'm not calling Devin Haney a duck. I don't think Shakur Stevenson is a duck. I don't think Tank Davis ducked either one of them. These three guys have not been in a position. There's not enough information. No one sent any contracts for anyone to be a duck just yet. What I will say is that Devin Haney's energy with Shakur Stevenson is not the same as it is with these other fighters that we've heard him and his team and his fan base accuse of ducking him. His energy, his pop's energy is totally off when it comes to Shakur Stevenson. That's point one. Nobody ducking, in my opinion, but the energy from Devin Haney and Bill Haney a little different when it comes to Shakur. Let's prove that point. Let's prove that housekeeping item first, and then we'll get on to the next housekeeping item. So to prove that, with everyone with Bill Haney and Devin Haney, it's we can fight right now. We can get it popping right now with Shakur Devin Haney out of his own mouth said we are going to meet up and when we meet up it will be for everything it will be for everything although he had everything when he said that he had all the belts when he said that so He's already letting you know he had no intentions of fighting Shakur Stevenson anytime soon. And Shakur has said the same thing. But Shakur said that they can get it right now, too. And now he said it on more than one occasion. Bill Haney, same thing, bro. Bill Haney said that we will see Shakur at 140 or 147 pounds. Them two are going to be the super fight. We don't want we don't want Shakur at no disadvantages. Everybody trying to catch Devin slipping. We ain't trying to catch Shakur Stevenson. We want him at 147 when they both at their best. But now he has also said that he went to top rank for a fight right now. But top rank says Shakur Stevenson is not on the table. So Bill Haney's own words contradict that. They contradict that. And he also said that he asked him not only about Shakur, but he also asked him about Tia Fimo and Josh Taylor. But if you're asking about Tia Fimo and Josh Taylor, they don't fight at 135 pounds. So did you ask him about all three? Did you ask him about two? Are you staying at 135 or are you staying at 140? It's so many things that you hear from the camp of Devin Haney and Bill Haney that lets you know that energy a little different to Shakur and you just got to pick and choose what you want to believe and if you want to paint the Devin Haney narrative and say something favorable they say everything so that you can pick something out and say well he said it but I would just ask you to think a little deeper and if they stand at 135 for the foreseeable future and they got this shit on lock why are they asking Bob Aram about 140 pound fighters if he did indeed go to Bob Aram like he said he did another contradiction would be if Bob Aram not offering Shakur up then why did Bob Aram say that he wants to make Shakur versus the winner of Haney and Loma? And the only way that Shakur wouldn't fight Haney, it would be unrealistic, is if Devin Haney moves up to 140. 
But if Devin Haney beats Loman, he intends to stay at 135. Bob Arum is on record of saying that he wants Shakur to get the winner of that fight. So is Bob Arum lying about top rank business? He cap all the time. If you ask him some PBC shit, if you ask him some motherfucking the zone shit, some Eddie Hearn shit, he may cap his ass out to you, but he be extremely accurate when it comes to his business. So that's in contradiction of that. So that's why I say the energy seem a little off. And if you got so many contradictions, I'm sorry, bro. I'm not going to believe nothing. I'm going to use my own brain. And my brain telling me that Bob Aaron ain't just saying he offering Shakur up to the winner. My brain telling me that Shakur ain't just talking when he say he want to fight Devin Haney because he moved up to 135. My, my brain telling me that it ain't just talking. He ain't, he ain't just talking when he say he want Devin Haney because not only did he move up to 135, he called him out his last fight at 130 when he said he was moving up. Then he called him out again in his first fight at 135 and said he won't smoke again. Then he put himself in, in position to be the WBC mandatory by winning the title eliminator against Sashino. The Sashino that he had to fight because Isak Pitbull Cruz and William Zapata ducked him. And George Cambosos ducked him. None of them wanted to fight Shakur for the title eliminator. So he moved up to 135, won a title eliminator to become a mandatory in the sanctioning body that's next in line. Because remember, George Cambosos was Tiafimo Lopez's mandatory in the IBF. So the IBF ain't up next. Lomachenko is Devin Haney's mandatory right now in the WBO. So that's going to be taken care of. The WBA don't have no mandatories. They got a little belt reduction program going on, but they ain't got no mandatories. And Tank and Devin Tank will be his mandatory. And at the end of the day, bro, at the end of the day, we know Tank ain't nobody mandatory. He just go make the fight. So the WBA ain't up next. Shakur is up next in the WBC. So he put himself up next, made himself the mandatory, and called out the man two times. But y'all want to tell me it's a publicity stunt? We just getting started. So all those things lead me to believe that ain't no publicity stunt. Shakur Stevenson is showing with his actions and with the words of his promoter and what they saying they looking to do next over there at top rank, they serious about this shit. So let's get that right there. The change in energy is palpable, bro. I can feel it. I can see it as it pertains to Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. The second housekeeping item that we got to get out the way. The second housekeeping item that we got to get out the way as we get into this video and dive into this shit, man, with this honest conversation that we having with Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. Don't get it messed up with me. Like, I see the comments. I was, I seen what the people were saying in the live yesterday. I'm getting the vibes that people say when I hop on panels and shit. Let's get this shit clear. Devin Haney versus Javante Tank Davis is the fight that I want more than any fight in boxing right now. That's inclusive of Earl Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford, all right? Earl and Terrence, I done kind of died out on that fight. I still want to see the fight, but to me, the fight I want more than anything is Devin Haney and Tank Davis. But we talking about Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson because it's the hottest topic. Get out your feelings. We talking about that shit because it's breaking news. The thing is, people got a problem when I talk about it because you think I hate Devin Haney. I don't hate Devin Haney, bro. I just don't like people insulting my intelligence. You got a problem when I talk about it? Because I'm going to bring inconsistencies to the forefront. Because I'm going to tell the truth no matter who the fighter is. If somebody talking about this shit right now and they talking about how Devin Haney ain't showing a different change in energy, even though all the facts say differently. If somebody talking about this shit right now and they paint the picture of Shakur Stevenson being a duck or some shit like that, you ain't telling them not to talk about it. Because you like their opinion. Because you like what they saying and shit. So don't come over to my shit telling me what to talk about and what not to talk about. Just go listen to somebody that's going to feed you that bullshit. Because I'm going to feed you that real shit straight up. But don't get it messed up. I want Tank versus Devin Haney more than any fight in boxing. But we talking about this shit. And I'm giving my honest opinion on this shit. Because it's the biggest topic in the sport. All right? Get that shit out the way. Now let's get to this whole situation, this publicity stunt by Shakur Stevenson. This Shakur Stevenson don't really want it. And that Bill Haney went to Bob Arum and Bob Arum told him no. And let's let's dive into this. 
publicity stunt. This is why you have to pay attention to what you say. And this is why when you are someone like Bill Haney who loves to promote Devin and loves to say everything, when you say everything, you get called to the carpet because you can't say everything because when you say everything, something got to be a lie. So if this is a publicity stunt, y'all follow me, right? This is a publicity stunt. Shakur Stevenson is in the exact same position that Devin Haney was in when Devin Haney was calling out Lomachenko. Shakur Stevenson just won a WBC title eliminator, and the WBC has already said that they are mandating Shakur Stevenson to fight the winner of Loma and Haney. That's what the WBC president, Mauricio Suleiman, just said earlier this week. So if Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson are in the exact same position, in 2019, Devin Haney was Lomachenko's mandatory number one contender. Shakur Stevenson is Devin Haney's mandatory number one contender. Devin Haney was calling out Lomachenko the same way that Shakur Stevenson is calling out Devin Haney. So I would ask, here's one of those tough questions. Was it a publicity stunt when Devin Haney was calling out Sh uh, Vasily Lomachenko? Was that a publicity stunt? Because, see, Shakur put himself in position the same way Devin put himself in position. Shakur is about to be ordered to fight Devin Haney the same way Devin Haney was about to be ordered to fight Lomachenko. They're in the exact same position. But it wasn't a publicity stunt when Devin Haney was calling for Loma, but somehow it's a publicity stunt when Shakur is calling for Devin. Why is that? You just, if you Bill Haney and Devin, y'all just did the same shit that Shakur Stevenson is doing right now. Did you say that y'all was pulling the publicity stunt? And the, you know what the difference is between the two? Shakur calling you out and you doing business with his promoter right now. Y'all was calling Loma out from the other side of the street. Which one's more likely to happen? And you claim you went to Bob Abram for a four fight. So you went to Bob Abram for a four fight. And Bob Abram said Shakur not on the table. But Bob Abram put Shakur in the position to be the mandatory of the winner in Haney and Loma. Y'all said Bob Abram don't want to bring Shakur to the forefront. And that he wasn't on the table. But Bob Abram got the WBC Mauricio Suleiman ordering Shakur to fight the winner of y'all fight. Y'all said that, that, that Bob Aram don't have Shakur on the table for y'all, but Bob Aram also said publicly that he want to make the fight, and the only way the fight won't happen is if Devin wins and goes up to 140. But it's a publicity stunt on their end, but you can call out Lomachenko from the other side of the street knowing that it's a cross-promotional fight, and the WBC ain't even saying that they ordering you to fight him. But that wasn't a publicity stunt. All I'm, I don't think either of them was publicity stunts, to be clear. But I'm saying if, if one got to be a publicity stunt, wouldn't it be the person that's calling somebody out from the other side of the street? Wouldn't it be the person that's calling somebody out and they know the fight is difficult to make and it ain't been ordered yet? And the president didn't, say, didn't even let you know that he was going to order it? That's, wouldn't that be the publicity stunt? Because that's what happened on Devin's side, on Shakur's side, the promoter. The sanctioning body, the fighter, they all saying they want the winner of that fight next, but that's a publicity stunt. How that work? Make sense of that for me if you could. Make sense of that. Just just, just try to. So so as 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 we continue, right? They asked Bill Haney about a 70-30 split in a recent interview. I, I seen Bill Haney on Champ Side, man. Salute to, to Champ Side. He does a great job over there on this platform. I saw when Champ Side asked him, Bill Haney said that they talking in public and not sending no paperwork, not trying to do nothing behind the scenes. That, that ain't gonna get it done. That ain't gonna get it done. That's a publicity stunt. That ain't gonna get it done. 
Well, y'all been talking in public for a long time as it pertains to Javante Tank Davis. Any paperwork get passed around? Now, I don't believe it's a publicity stunt. I think Devin really want to fight Tank, and I think Tank really want to fight Devin. But if you calling that a publicity stunt, shouldn't you look in the mirror and make sure that you ain't doing some of the same shit that you calling a publicity stunt? If Shakur is just calling you out publicly but ain't doing shit behind the scenes, I would ask, what did y'all do behind the scenes to fight Javante Tank Davis, man? Or did you just call him out publicly? And not try to get any paperwork done. That's why you have to be careful when you say everything. And then, why are we talking about you moving? Why did you say that they had Tia Fimo? They offered up Josh Taylor. But they didn't offer up Shakur Stevenson. Why is Bob Aram saying that Shakur fighting your son is unrealistic if Devin move up? Because Devin going to move up. Somebody got to be lying because Bob Aram talking like y'all going to move up. You saying that they offering Tia Fimo and Josh Taylor. Why would they offer up 140-pound fighters if you've made it clear to them that you're staying at 135? Or have you made it clear to them that you're really moving up to 140? But you trying to say some slick shit to the fans on YouTube and social media and shit because you can't do both. You can't stay at 135 and go to 140 at the same time. That don't go together. You got to make a decision after long. But you, you claim that you have already made your decision. You told me on my show that you was, move, that you was staying at 135. No, yeah, that you were. No, you told me you were moving up. My bad. You told me you were moving up. So what you told me? That what you told BFTB as well. He got the interview with Devin, and Devin told him out of his own mouth he was moving up after the Loma fight. Now y'all staying at 135, but they offering 140 fighters. They offering 140 fighters while also saying that y'all y'all fight with Shakur ain't going to be realistic because Devin going to move up and shit. So is Bob Aaron lying or do y'all know do he know some shit that I don't know? Do he know some shit that us here on YouTube don't know? Sound like Bob might know the real shit. Sound like Bob might know the real shit, man. Cause Bob is, is letting you know right now we got Shakur for you. Shakur getting the winner of this fight. He fighting for the WBC title next, whether you got that hoe or not. And he won't smoke. He letting it be known he won't smoke. So what we doing? Oh, we, we moving up to 140, Bob. Come on, man. I got questions. Y'all got to be honest with me, man. Y'all got to let me know what's up. Keep it 100. This shit seem fishy, man. The energy way off. Like I started at the beginning of this video. This shit way off. It can't all be true. Now, somebody, as I sign off, as I get done, as I go to enjoy the rest of my night, tell me what motherfucking lies just told, man. Your boy Knockout. We out of here. Peace.